Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story more about caves. Reading it to level 3C. More about caves. Okay, let's read it. More about caves. Okay, let's read it. More caves that are not near the ocean were made by water that were a way soft rock, such as limestone. The water above the ground sank down into the soft rock. The water sank until it reached harder rock and then flowed and trickled along without going any deeper. Slowly, very slowly, for millions of years, the water whirled away the soft rock and carried it along, making a small tunnel-like opening. As more and more soft rock was worn away, the opening grew wider and deeper. Now more and more water could flow into it. In time, many of these openings became huge caves or caverns. Some of these underground streams flowing through the caves kept going until they emptied into the sea. You might think that all caves that started out this way would be very much alike, but they aren't. In some places, the underground stream, the underground stream came to other soft spots, then the water sank still deeper. These places became underground forests, with the water plunging and rolling into black forests or into another cave below. If a stream changed its direction or sank to new depth, the cave it had run through, run through became quite dry. When the roof of a cave became very thin, it sometimes bro broke, through, broke through, making a canyon. Sometimes a small part of the roof did not break through the rest. This left a natural threat. This left a natural bridge that did not break through with the rest. Some caves have beautiful pillars that go from their roofs to their floors, like these. Some caves have beautiful pillars. This is called pillars that go from their roofs to their floors. These are made by water leaking into the cave. Each drop leaves a very tiny bit of calcium carbonate, a kind of rock on the ceiling of the cave. After thousands and thousands of years, an ice-cold-shaped stalactite forms. So this pillar is made by like this. The water dripping to the floor of the cave contains small particles of soft stuff. It slowly builds up into a Stalagmite, which looks like an upside down icicle, like this, and the water drops here and there freezes, I think. And after thousands of years, the stalactite and the stalagmite meet, forming a pillar. At first, the pillar is very skinny, but the water keeps running down its sides, making it larger and larger. Pillars make by this, and water slips down, and it gets larger and larger. As caves are carved out of the rock, rightly carved or clear crystals are often found in the walls and ceiling. These add much to the beauty and excitement of a cave tree. Today, I read a story more about caves. At first, caves made by, made like this, and some caves have beautiful pillars that go from their roof to their floor, and it's made like this that I showed you before. The water drops here and it gets freezes, I think, and the water slips down here and gets larger and larger. Okay, bye!